If lawmakers believe that voters have the political memory of a fruit fly, here today, gone tomorrow, they had better rethink that thought. It's really done a lot of damage. I mean, everybody, I mean, everyone says that this was unnecessary, that we were held hostage by everyone in Congress and Senate. Nobody can work together. Nobody can work together. Our national poll of viewers for more than 30 of our sister TV stations nationwide shows most voters think just like Vicki Shetlick. Of the more than 22,000 responses to our question, would you like to fire Congress because of the gridlock, 88% said yes, while only 10% said no. Let's be honest. People already knew that Congress was dysfunctional, but the shutdown really highlighted just how messed up Congress really is. If some voters could push a button to recall every member of Congress right now, they wouldn't hesitate. Well, that would be a real good idea, but that's not a practical idea. And it's not in the Constitution. The only way to remove a member of the House or Senate is to have two-thirds of other members vote for an expulsion. And in the history of Congress, only 20 lawmakers have been expelled. I know if those same cats had jobs in corporate America, they would have been fired a long time ago. We found that even voters who are reticent to say anything bad about our elected leaders are sort of burning inside. You're fine with the incumbents coming back? No, I don't want them to come back, no. And she's not alone. Almost 20,000 others in our poll agreed. I'm Christine Frizzell, Fox 45 News.